Ah, the life of the great sage named Gowrie. Yes, you need to speak to Gowry here in Gowry Shack, located in Kaolid near the swamps. And this is going to kick off Millicent's quest line. Now, a fast way to get here, or we'll just go all the way back to the Church of Eli, Site of Grace at the start here. Make your way into the water, and there's some ruins here. And down some steps, there's a trap chest that'll teleport you to the crystal caves in a shack. Just run out of the shack, out of the cave, it's only a small cave. Make your way through the town here to Gowry Shack. Now, what you want to do is kick off the quest by speaking to Gowry and ask him about his crazy dog out the front. Yes, just be warned, there's a crazy T-Rex dog out the front there of Gary's shack. But Gary's going to talk to you and tell you about a sick lady called Millicent dying of scarlet rot at a nearby church. So he's going to tell you about a needle that'll help her and that needle's being held by a boss nearby as well, General O'Neill. So we've got to go locate General O'Neill. He's right here in the swamps. So what you want to do is kill General O'Neill with whatever works best for you depending on your build and he's going to drop the unalloyed un gold needle. Now that gold needle you need to take back to Gowrie and he's going to give you a special letter and fix the needle and that letter tells you about the nearby town about the flames you need to light up and once you've uh, reloaded the area he's going to tell you he's repaired the needle and give you the unalloyed gold needle which is now repaired but from the letter he gave you the secrets of the town right here make your way through the main drag and take a left down some steps to this side of grace and just follow this clip now to light the three brazes to unlock a door just up these stairs here to my right. There's a blue door that'll unlock a barrier there. So just keep note of that when you've unlocked all the when you've lit all the brazes, make your way back up those steps back there, and that'll be unlocked. And that'll lead to the church where uh, Millicent is uh, dying of scarlet rot. Now there'll be intermittent commentary. So just follow this bit here to light the brazes. There's going to be chapters in the video's description if you're on the big screen the progress bar should be divided up as well if you're after a certain section of this guide Now once you've lit all three of them, that'll unblock that blue barrier that I was talking about at the start of that town. Make your way up to the church here, and that's where you're going to find Millicent in this church here. So what you can do now is grab the Sight of Grace and talk to Millicent, exhaust her dialogue, and that's where you're going to give her the uh, needle, which is going to cure her scarlet rot disease. So just choose that prompt there to give her the needle. Now once you've given her the needle, just head back to the side of Grace in that church and reload the area and you'll see that she's now standing and uh, exhaust her dialogue again, she'll give you this talisman and once you've done that, just reload the side of Grace again to make sure she's gone, she's moved on. Now Millicent is now relocated to Gowrie Shack, so just go and exhaust her dialogue and once you've done that, all you need to do now is just reload the game, Gowrie will be back and Millicent will be gone. Speak to Gowrie, exhaust his dialogue and let him know Millicent paid a visit and just exhaust his dialogue again. Now, Millicent's new location will be over up here to this new region at the Grand Lipta Dectus. I'll leave links in the video description on how to unlock some of these areas. From the Grand Lipta Dectus, make your way north to this side of Grace and just over here you'll find Millicent. This is her new location. Speak to her, exhaust her dialogue and she talks about if she had her other arm, she could help you in battle and everything. So you need to find the Valkyrie's Prothesis, which is up this ravine and all the way up to the Shaded Castle here. So make your way around here, follow the clip to get the uh, Valkyrie's Prothesis for Millicent. So from where she was last located, where we just talked to her, just head down the hill a bit and head straight up this ravine to this spot here. And just follow this clip now on how to get the Valkyrie's Prothesis. Now her summon sign is available for a boss called the Magna Rim Mako up in the ruins drawn precipice. But um, you need to make sure you don't give her that um, Valkyrie's Prothesis because her summon sign won't be there. So if you need assistance with that boss, go kill that boss first so you can get her as a summon sign. And then give her the uh, Valkyrie's Prothesis 
to progress the uh, quest line for Millicent. Okay, head back to Millicent, give her the Valkyrie's Prosthesis and that's going to progress her location up further north to a place called Windmill Village. When you come across these maidens with a crazy look on their face dancing all over the place, you're in the right spot. But further up the hill there's a side of America, just up here is the summon sign for Millicent and she can be used to help defeat the Godskin Apostle with you. Okay, once the Godskin Apostle has been defeated, like the new site of Grace where you fought him, reload the area and you'll find Millicent there just standing there. Go and exhaust all her dialogue to progress her quest line further to a new location. So once you've spoken to her here, she's going to move way up north, but she's also available as a summon sign right here, where you can actually fight, uh, it's a pretty difficult boss, Black Blade Kindred, her summon sign's right here, so you don't actually have to beat this guy to progress her quest line. But her next location will be at the ancient Snow Valley Ruin, so just talk to her here to exhaust more of her dialogue. From this point she's actually going to relocate to the Halig Tree itself. Now for you to get there you need to make your way to a town called Odina, which is in a secret location of a snow area but you may not have unlocked yet, and you need another two parts of a medallion which I'll show you now where to locate. One half, you need to make your way to the scenic isle here. And from this side of grace, look over to the cliffs here. So from this side of grace, just pan to your left. See that big cave in the cliff wall? Just head straight ahead into that cave. Once you're in the cave, along the left, you'll see a trail going up. Make your way up the trail. Just follow the cliff now for the next side of grace and where to go to find the next medallion. So here we are on the map, but we're actually underground in that big cave. So we're not actually there on the map now, we're just underground. So what we want to do now from that side of Grace Underground is head up along here. Now there's some guys here with some powerful fire magic. You can take them on, but if you're low level, just sneak past them. And there's going to be a pot up here. It's a bit risky hitting the pot, but if you keep rolling into the pot, that's going to reveal this guy. And this guy here is going to give you the right half of the medallion. The left half of the medallion is way up north in Castle Soul, where you have to defeat another boss, Commander Nile. Again, I'll link in the description on how to choose this boss. Once you've defeated the boss in the boss room right here, just head up the stairs here and up a lift, and right here you'll find the left half of the medallion. So once you've got these two pieces of the medallion, you need to head back to the Grand Lift of Rold, and um, when you get to the Grand Lift of Rold, you need to make sure you toggle the option to use the secret medallion. You'll see down the bottom there, toggle to use the secret medallions. Now once you're up the top, just head through the doors, up these stairs, and through this archway. Dodge all the enemies if you like. For the sake of this guide, I'm just going to run past them. And just here is the next side of Grace. If this place is unexplored, on your map it'll show you where the next little tower icon is on the map for the map for this new snow region. So make your way up here from here. Along here is where the new map is, but head to this side of Grace, and then up here to the town called Ordina. Now I'll put a link in the description on how to progress this town puzzle to get up to the Halig tree here. And basically Millicent will be here in the prayer room. There is another boss you need to defeat, Loretta, Knight of the Halig tree. So just be aware there is a boss fight you need to defeat first to progress further into the game. But once you've defeated that knight on the horse, she's in the prayer room here. It's a pretty lineal path. Make your way to the church here. Speak to her and exhaust more of her dialogue. 
Progressing past the prayer room, you're going to have to defeat the ulcerated tree spirit. Now you can either progress past the prayer room to the next side of grace, which is going to be the drainage channel, and make your way back to this boss and defeat him. Once you have defeated him, you'll see these two summon signs. And I'm going to use the gold summon sign to help Millicent from four invaders. Now once you've helped out Millicent, killing off those four invaders, you'll be back right here. And Millicent is actually going to be located just on the other side there, straight ahead. We can see it lit up a tiny bit. Just make your way up around the right hand side, heading towards this way. Just be careful though that you don't drop down and land on her. She's hard to see because you may kill her. Now speak to her and exhaust the dialogue and she's going to give you the needle back. So people who have had their needle missing, claiming they did see it in the inventory, you did give it to her, remember? And now this is how you get it back. So make sure you choose the gold summon sign if you want the needle back. Now the needle can be used to reverse the frenzy flamed ending. Because if you're on the frenzy flamed ending, it's going to lock you out of all other endings. Including Rani's quest lines ending if you worked hard on it. But if you head back to the Halic Tree Roots, you need to defeat another boss. Which is pretty tough, one of the toughest bosses in the game. Valena, Blade of Maquilla. When you do kill her, you'll surely leave behind this huge flower here you'll see here. You need to head up to this flower and you'll get a prompt to use the uh, needle you got back off her. And that way this needle is going to be McQuilly's needle. I've already used it so you don't see the prompt there. But you will get a prompt to get McQuilly's needle from that unalloyed gold needle. Head to the crumbling farm Azula. Use McQuilly's needle and that's going to reverse the frenzy flamed ending. The spot I'm in now is where you may have fought Dragon Lord plus a Disax. It's not clear whether you need to kill him or not. Some say you may not have to but I have here. If you return back to Gary Shack and speak to Gary, you'll find that he's at a complete loss regarding Melissant. It's not clear what the outcome may be, but you can kill him, and he'll drop his Flox Canvas Talisman, which greatly raises potency of incantations, and he'll also drop his Bell Bearing, which I guess you can take to the Twin Husk Maidens at Round Table Hole to be able to buy his stuff. So there you have it, what a sad and tragic tale for Millicent's questline. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my guide for Millicent's quest in Elden Ring. Please consider subscribing, hit that bell to stay updated, drop us a like, I really love providing this content. I really hope to see you all next time, thanks for watching.